As of recording this, it's 17 April yesterday. I just finished watching the Alone April. I just gotta say, whoa. Like it was it was a masterpiece. It was a perfect show in my opinion. I haven't watched anything that I was so passionate about. Quite a few times I was on the verge of tears, but at the end I was like, the gang can't see me crying like this. It actually holds a special place in my heart. It sounds corny as fuck. Everyone should watch it. Anime watcher or non-anime watcher. I think you'd find enjoyment in the 22 episode series. It's a romantic comedy film. It has musical elements to it. A main part of it is music. <clears throat> like expressing yourself with music, getting over fears and trauma and problems with music and communicating, creating bonds through music. That's um, like music plays a huge part in this. It's a great show. The foreshadowing in it is amazing. The music, the background music, the music that's played and the intro and outro music. All of it perfect. I love it. If you've seen anything anime related on social media, you'd know the intro. Then I finished watching the anime and now the song is sad. I even had a voice crack because I can't contain the sadness. If I were to rank this, I put it in S tier. Easy S tier. One minor flaw was whenever there's a close up, of the hands when they play piano. You can see it's CGI, but it it looks kinda weird. This anime had me thinking about life. This show had such a huge impact on me. Like my eye, it's like my third eye opened. Can see everything clearly. I can see through every freaking line now. Don't you forget, it takes courage to sail in uncharted waters. Who said that? Snoopy duh. Huh? Then the final part we move on to is the Lion April live action. I know. The whole room just got the chest pounding. Uh, it wasn't that bad. I could only find it on one website called Billy Billy. So I had to watch it in 480p so screenshots or clips won't look as great. So I didn't expect it to be one to one with the anime. And Tsubaki's actor, oh my word. The, the casting for her was so, was so good. Like she actually looked like a real life Tsubaki. Kosei, I'm, I'm fine with the guy, but they made his hair so, like they didn't do his hair justice in the live action. They could have changed it. And Ryoto, he looks like a Ryoto. He looks like a nutcase, so I think he looks good. Majority of the casting looks fine. It's just the hair for Kosei. Kosei isn't up to par. But Kaori, oh my word. We don't talk about that. But we can talk about the casting having the characters down to a T. And it was all like a speed run because it's a two hour movie trying to put in 22 episodes, 22 minutes each. So the changes in the show was, you see Hiriko in the first five minutes of the show. And she was first presented in the second half of the anime and she and her daughter were making food for Yuriko and that was a pretty weird change, I don't know why they added that. Kaori didn't wear her white dress in the first performance for some reason and you're not gonna believe it, she wore a white dress at the last performance. Like where was it all the time? Why couldn't you just use it in the in the show itself? The first performance didn't have a accompanist which is weird because that's the reason she wanted Kosei to be her accompanist. For some reason in this in the movie they blatantly say we're 17 we gotta live. In the show in, in the anime they're 14 or 15. Again it's all just little nitpicks but I can't I can't help but to call it out. Kaori went to Kosei's house and she saw the piano. She played piano but then she played chopsticks. The high school guy wasn't in the movie at all. 
as well as Takashi and Emi, which were rivals with Kose. So it's kind of a weird change again. And the last performance we get from Kose, we don't see him imagining Kaori playing violin with him in a beautiful blue sky. We see that he imagines her on the stage itself in the white dress that should have been there since the very beginning. And then the movie ends off with the letter again emotional because the letter is like the saddest part of the movie and the anime series. If I were to rate this, I'd give it a B. A 6.5 out of 10. If it was any higher, it'd be purely because of the anime and I'm judging it as a live action on its own because of the, the main reason is if you didn't watch the anime itself, some things just aren't gonna click or make sense as much as in the anime because there are barely any there's three four scenes of kosei going through his childhood trauma and it's there like for half a minute and then then it's gone again since i know the story it was quite enjoyable to watch so i totally recommend it if you watch the anime but if you don't want to watch the live action watch boku no pico also, someone on a previous video said I should get a better, I get a better camera angle, and I can't. The webcam I had is pretty dark shit. It's 720p max. It barely syncs up with the audio. So this is gonna be the camera angle for when I want to talk about stuff. Till I get a camera or a better webcam. So you're stuck with this.